I feel like everyone in the nan has seen these and I feel like these are just perfect eating trousers. They're just stretch ready. So when you're feeling all bloated after a meal, they're just really comfortable. Now the next thing I'm about to show you is why you can't get too caught up about sizes of clothing. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've actually got a little change of scenery for once, but I'm doing a new in ASOS spring haul. I'm really excited. There's some brands in here that I've never bought from or that I've not bought from in literally years. Just wanted to get some nice little spring bits, put together some cute outfits. Obviously, spring is already here, so I'm just really excited to see what we've got. Go through everything, try it all on at the end, and then put the links down below as always. I don't even know where to start, but I've just opened the parcel. There's quite a lot in here. Ooh. yeah immediately regret that so if the lighting keeps changing it's a little bit cloudy today but the first things i've got are from pull and bear so i'm really excited about this i think all i've ever had from pull and bear is like try one pair of jeans and like the seamless sets but i saw these jeans on the website and now they look a little bit weird on camera but they're like a really really light sage green they just look really nice on the model as always but they've got like the straight leg a little distressed end and then they've got one little like knee split obviously I can show you so much better when i've actually got them on but i thought this color was really nice i just really liked how it had like that touch of color but obviously it wasn't too bright and in your face so i got these in a size 10 that is my normal size for jeans it says a size medium but yeah they don't feel too thick i've got this little label printed on the back and again i just thought there was just something nice something different the next thing i got from pull and bear I feel like everyone in the nan has seen these. I think Primark started the trend, I'm not sure, could be wrong, because I know they do copy people. But the first time I saw people talking about them was the Primark ones. And they're just like this really nice straight leg trouser material, obviously up with the turnover detail. Again, in that really nice green colour, I feel like I'm really getting into like the greens. Never really owned anything in this colour before spring started. I've done a couple of hauls now, including a few little sage pieces. I think it's like... Do you know these say it's sage or khaki? I know this background's quite busy, I do apologise. But yeah, I just thought these were really cool. I don't have any trousers. I'm not a trouser gal. I don't really wear blazers or anything either. So I just want to kind of branch out a little bit. I know that lots of people just wear them with like a little vest up or something. So I know it's nothing too crazy, but it's just slightly out of my comfort zone. So like I said, I have seen people wearing those trousers with vest tops. So I just wanted to get a white vest because I've got all halter necks and stuff like that, but I wanted more just like a lower cut vest that's not cropped as well, because I like when people took them in the trousers. But I'm not gonna lie, this looks really long. I feel like it's because I'm so used to seeing cropped stuff, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. It's giving like mum vibes, not in a bad way, but I feel like my mum definitely has this in a wardrobe. But again, it was just a little basic, so I'll try it on, see how I feel. The last thing I've got from Pull and Bear are these parachute pants. I do have these in black already, and I'm pretty sure I tried a similar colour to this one before, but I didn't really love them, so I sent them back. But while I was looking at the Pull and Bear section, I thought, you know what, neutral trousers. I'm really loving neutrals lately, if you couldn't tell. But say, like, neutral trousers with this top. It's a proper colour, and it starts from putting blue jeans on, like I always do. But yeah, they've got, like, this, they've got this elasticated waist, and then... They are pretty much straight leg, but they've got, again, the elasticated cuff bottoms. On the black ones that I have, they did kind of sit cuffed, even though I didn't pull the drawstring out. So I did cut this little part off, so there was just nice and straight bottoms. But again, it's just a nice little basic. Okay, I lied. I think I got more pull and bear stuff than I did anything else. I didn't even realise that this was a pull and bear top. But I saw this on the website, and I just thought it was really cute. Kind of blends into the background, but... You can never have too many like oversized slogan tees. I literally wear them all the time. I wear them with like jeans. And then when I get a little bit bored of them, I just wear them to the gym over like some leggings or some shorts. But it was just a really nice top and I like that little popper colour. I feel like that'd just be really cute all year round. Not gonna lie though, it is very, very, very long. I don't think you can really tell, but it's so long. But this would be really nice with a pair of jeans. So on the topic of jeans, these are from Stradivarius. I don't think I actually own anything from this brand. I might be wrong, but I don't think I do. And they're just these more like slim. I've got lots of like baggy, baggy jeans. But these are kind of more like slim fitting. Then they're going to like a slight flare at the bottom. Obviously, you can see it better when I've actually got them on. But my friend Laura's got some jeans like this. I think there was from River Island a couple of years ago. But I just really like to say there was actually fitted on her thighs and then just slightly went out towards the bottom rather than being really baggy altogether. But these look like a little gradual flare, nothing like too... So I didn't want anything where it was really tight on my legs and then really puffed out. I just wanted kind of like a little gradual flare. So these look really nice on the website again. So fingers crossed these will be cute. I feel like this would look really nice together if the print on this top was this colour. But again, it's still cute. Then the last jean type thing I got was these baggy shorts. I did cut myself a pair of shorts like this last year. It was just a pair of baggy jeans. 
and I just cut them up so there was like longer so it's more like mid thigh denim jeans and they're really cute but I just wanted to try another pair because these seem those other ones I have are quite tight and these ones looked a little bit baggier so I want to try these on but they do look quite short they're not really like that mid thigh length I was looking for but again they're still cute and these are actually from Topshop can we talk about Topshop? I miss going shopping so much and just popping into Topshop. I used to go with my best friend and we used to go to somewhere called Merry Hill. Don't know if anyone knows what that is. But it's literally got like H&M, Primark and Topshop. That was it. I never really go in H&M. I only ever go there to look in Primark. And they had a huge Topshop. Me and my friend used to spend ages in there. It was actually our favourite shop to go into. They shut literally every Topshop shop down. That was a lot. That was a lot of shops but they shut all the stores down now so you can only get it online and bear in mind i literally love this shop i've never been online and looked at what they actually have so i really wanted to just go and have a little look so i'm nostalgic i miss you top shop please come back the next thing i've got i can't tell whether it's really cute or really ugly it's giving like something that i would wear when i was nine but i really want it do you only go for like a family meal and you want to still look cute but you don't want anything tight and if i wear a pair of trousers like some cargoes or some jeans all i literally own is crop tops and sometimes I want to cover my belly, you know, I'm going out for a nice meal. So I thought, well, something like this is quite cute and summery. And then it kind of like puffs out like the material. I thought this would be nice. It's not cropped and it covers my belly. So I don't know. I don't know if it's giving why am I wearing tops that I had when I was nine. But I just want to try it on. I just thought it was like a little cute moment. So let's see if it's actually cute or whether it's like stealing clothes out my little cousin's wardrobe. And the last thing I've got is from Topshop 2. These are just some little like boyfriend jogger shorts. Really cute. I do have some like this anyway, but they're from PLT and I've got them in like a lilac and a baby blue. But like I said earlier, I'm loving green lately. They just feel like a nice fleecy like jogger material on the inside. They've got pockets, little drawstring waist. They've got that like raw cut detail as well. Again, a little wardrobe staple. I do like buying little statement things, say like those trousers and stuff. But at the same time, I do still want to buy stuff that I will try and get a lot of use out of rather than just wearing it once and getting bored of it. So I think that's everything. Let's go and try it all on. So we've got the jeans. This is just a bodysuit that I was wearing at the start of the video. It's from Primark if anyone's interested. But these jeans are a size 10. I've literally done so many hauls where I bought jeans. They don't fit me. They're too big. They're too small. They're too long. Whatever. But I'm not going to lie. These are actually a little bit big on me. The amount of times I've brought a size 10 and I can't even button them up. So that's obviously a good thing. They're not too big but to the point where... They're like gonna fall down or anything, but they just feel like some roomy. They feel like the material feels quite stretchy. It's like that really sturdy material, which is quite nice. Obviously, when you're sitting down and stuff, you don't need to be like cutting into your belly or squeezing your legs. I don't know if anybody's watched the film Mamma Mia, but this is literally what I feel like in these trousers. Again, the flare's nothing crazy, but they are really long, so I can't really, I can't really move back much more. Actually, literally you're gonna see my toes, but they are massive. They're really like dragging on the floor. Like, can you see how long they are? Which is a shame. But it's nothing that a pair of fabric scissors can't fix, so I could just cut the ends off and just make them look distressed anyway. But yeah, they feel like they really fit well, and I really like them. Just kneeling on the floor, but I'm not going to lie, as you can see, it's very, very, very see-through. It's not really, it's not really doing what I wanted it to. I mean, the fit and everything's what I wanted, but it's way too see-through. But this was the little vision, this was the little vibe I was going for, cute, casual. She's giving kind of cowgirl vibes, I don't know why. Then we have the little green trousers. I don't know whether I'd wear them with this top, but I'm not gonna lie, they're not really fitting as good as I hope to feel like they're really roomy again, around my waist, like around like my crotch area. And it's not that I've lost weight as much as I would love it to be. It's probably just because I had two pieces of toast all day. But you know, that's on me anyway. I feel like they are really cute. Again, if I move back, can you see that they're really long for me? I'm five foot four for reference anyway, so if anybody is much smaller than me, I don't think you get away with them unless you've got your little fabric scissors handy. But if you're much if you're about I think if you're like five five or five six, these probably fit you perfectly. I do like the little cutout detail on the knee. I feel like that always breaks it up when you've got baggy jeans on. Having a little bit of detail there is just really nice. And again, I know he doesn't really look that good with his busy background, so I'm sorry. But yeah, to do fit me quite well. I probably could have got away with a size down to be honest. So, I don't really know what's going on in this haul. Everything is just way too big for me. It's literally a size 10, so I don't really know what's going on. But these are the little trousers. I don't know whether I'd wear it with the top tucked in, so I feel like it blends with the band. So maybe if I did like a little crop top or something, obviously find an actual crop top rather than a bodysuit. But, but this is the length of them. Again, they're quite baggy. I feel like everything's just a little bit too big today. And it's just my normal sizes, so I don't really understand, but it's not the end of the world. I could just put some 
chunky trainers on and I'm sure they'd sit fine on there. We finally got something that fits. These actually fit me perfectly fine. I think it's because they're elasticated and obviously you can adjust them on the sides, make them fit if you want them a little bit looser. You can just pull them out. So I really like stuff like this. I went out for a meal the other day and I had the black version on. And I feel like these are just perfect easing trousers. Because like I said, they just stretch with you. So when you're feeling all bloated after a meal, they're just really comfortable. But I just really like the colour of them. They're just really plain, cute. Bright ends up the outfit rather than wearing black or blue jeans. And lengthwise, like I said earlier, I'm five foot four. I feel like these fit me perfectly. So I think if you're much taller, they probably won't fit you. Unless you want to wear them more like low waisted. If you've got like a really nice sort of tail and belly, you can actually get away with it. But yeah, they're really cute, really basic. Now, the next thing I'm about to show you is why you can't get too caught up about sizes of clothing. Like I said earlier, I've ordered size 10s before and I haven't even been able to do them up. I've ordered the stuff that I've tried on today, which is the same size, but a different company, which is really big on the waist. But now, these are from Topshop and they're a size 10. And I literally can't do them up unless I need to try and like surgically remove a rib. And they are so tight on my legs, I want them to be more like baggy fit. But no, these are just a no from me. And it's a shame because they are quite cute. They're a nice length and everything, but obviously it's just not going to work. Well, this looks like a t-shirt dress. This is not what I was aiming for. I've literally got those shorts underneath and you can't even tell. But I got this in a medium, I think it was. And I thought that this was going to be like a size 10 because normally you like a PLT. I've done hauls off PLT before when I've ordered a size medium and it's been quite slim fitting. But yeah, this is pretty big. I mean, I can always like cut it with a pair of like fabric scissors and make it more like a boxy t-shirt, like a crop top. But I kind of wanted it to wear it over jeans. But it's just a bit big. And the final things are these little shorts. Really cute. Can't really say much about them because they're just plain little baggy shorts. But they fit me really good. Try and move it a little bit so you can actually see me. But this with like a little crossbody bag and some little chunky sandals or, or some trims or something. Again, it's just cute. It's easy. It's basic. They're cute for like airport outfit. It's a cute little like airport outfit or when you're on holiday. Obviously, the fleeces are a little bit warmer. So I like to wear these in like spring and autumn with like a long sleeve top or a hoodie or something. Just good for like the transitional seasons. And that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any other brands you want me to try out or any different style videos or anything you want me to do, please comment down below and let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.